Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul out here in Northern California, boldly standing on the wall, yet humbly. It's April 21st, 2014. I want to let everybody know um, in the world, thank you for all your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for seeking Jesus Christ. Uh, I will be out of town today and tonight. I ask you to, to pray for my wife and I. And I, and I want to let you know, most importantly, that Jesus loves you. He loves all of us. And he's coming again soon. And we need to get it right, saints. It's pressed upon my heart to really say that. We got to stop playing church and we got to be the church. People say that all the time, but they don't do it. That's why Jesus said you have to be doers of the word, not just hearers only, deceiving yourself. See, you're not deceiving anybody else. We're just deceiving ourselves. Certainly, God is not deceived. Amen? And Jesus knows our heart. Well, anyway, saying that, I had a deep revelation this morning, and I simply want to share it. I'm not doing like claiming to be an eschatology expert, uh, an expert on end times, but what I am claiming to, is to be a child of God who hears from the Lord and is given divine revelation through his holy word. Amen. And what I what I receive by revelation, I love to share. We love you all. Righteous Cry Ministry prays for everyone on here every single day. And the devil is a liar. Amen and amen. So let's go to this. Uh, Revelation 8, 5 through 11. You can read the whole thing. I'm going to start at 5 and go to 11 and be quick. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. Now that don't sound good, honestly, saints. It don't sound good. And there were voices. First thing I want to say is, what voices do you think those were? And thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. You know what that sounds like to me? Bad stuff, <laughs> honestly. And, and the seven angels, now note this continuing pattern of the number seven, please. Uh, and the seven angels, which had seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Seven trumpets are going to be sounded. One, two, three, four. Now let's go. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. Now you know what that sounds like to me when I really, really pray? It's like a nuclear, a, a nuclear bomb being dropped. You know, this is a vision that John the Revelator saw, and I'm not claiming to know everything, but it's just like the blood and fire and pillars and vapors of smoke. To me, that always looks like it's not gonna really come down blood out of the sky. It looks like what he saw in the vision and described through the Holy uh, Spirit, the Spirit of Holiness. Now watch this. There was hail and fire mingled with blood. I believe that's the blood of human beings. And they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees was burnt up and all the green grass was burnt up. To me, it just sounds like a nuclear bomb. Boom. Just vaporized everything. Now that's just me. And that's verse 7, and I find that fascinating, the number 7. And the second angel sounded, and it was where a great mountain burning with fire and cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Now I want you to notice this pattern of also one-third. So we have 7-3 again. It's, it's just amazing, this holy word of God. I'm just reading the word of God. Amen. Take everything you hear from this channel and every channel, straight to the throne room of Jesus Christ. And don't let anybody get in your head because there's great deception and delusions all over this world. Now here's the number of the third again. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. Let me tell you something. I am convinced on April 21st, 2014, that God knows the end from the beginning and what the revelator here is was shown in a vision is going to happen in our lifetime sooner than we think. And we're not prepared for it. And this is an EMP strike or a nuclear strike, one of the other. And look what it's going to do. 
it's going to destroy a, a third of uh, the, the sea, uh, uh, the creatures in the sea, a third part of the ships. Okay, let's continue. Remember this, the third. And the third angel sounded. Now, let me stop right here, okay? I won't be long. How many angels were kicked out of heaven with Satan? A one-third. That's what the scriptures record the best I could find, and I'm going to verify that as best that I can. And again, take this to the Lord. To me, it seems like this is, is judgment for rebellion. Judgment for rebellion. Again, Lucifer, through pride, wanted to be higher than God, and when he was kicked out as a fallen angel, he took one-third of the fallen angels with him. And they are wreaking havoc down here on earth. Lord Jesus, open our eyes to see and ears to hear what is coming upon us quickly. In Jesus' name, amen. And there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and fell into the third part of the waters. Now, I have several videos on this. Just do a video search on my channel on Wormwood. And upon the fountains of the waters, and the name of the star is called, called Wormwood. I have visions and dreams on this falling. I've seen it. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, which is also bitter. So it would be undrinkable water. Come on now. Somebody just say amen. That you know, Thank you, Jesus, that he made a plan for us to escape this. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Okay, that's Revelation 8, and I'll put a link. But now let me just do a quick synopsis. I, I find this website to be overall mostly uh, credible on answers about Scripture. It's question, did one-third of the angels fall with Lucifer? Now let's get some Scripture. Do you notice that it's one-third? I'm telling you, I just feel strongly in my spirit and strongly in my heart. As, as a bold yet humble servant of God to warn the people that this is coming upon us soon and the church is not prepared and the world is not prepared and it's just coming closer day after day as people just stub, stumble around and sleep. Well, so I'm sounding the alarm and saying I did my part, Jesus. Okay, it says sometime after the creation and most certainly after the sixth day because the, it says on the Lord created the, the world in six days and on the seventh day he rested. <clears throat> and then he, he said what he saw was good. That's Genesis 1, 31. I'll put a link to this. Satan rebelled and was cast out of heaven. Quote, how, how you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations. And let's go to Isaiah 14, 12. And remember Revelation 8. When Lucifer sinned, Jesus said, quote, Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. He is risen, saints. We are not to fear. We are, to, to, we are the warriors God called for such a time as this. Let's just get this fear gone. And God did not give us a spirit of fear. If you're in fear... Get on your knees, and the answer is one prayer away. Hallelujah. One prayer away. One prayer away. Isaiah 14, 12. When Lucifer sinned, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. In Luke 10, 18. And in the book of the Revelation, Satan is seen as a star that had fallen from the earth. A Revelation 9, 1. We'll keep going. We are also told that one-third, now let's go back to Revelation again here on all these one-thirds. Their judgments, they're coming. This is real. God's not dead, and God is not plain. We are also told that one-third of an innumerable company of angels, this is Hebrews 12, 22, 12, 2, 2, chose to rebel with him. And John, this is the Re John the Revelator, and this is book. This book of Revelation is also referred to as the Apocalypse, and uh, much much earlier, before I was born, it was called the Vision. Okay, this is a vision John the Revelator saw. He was the last disciple of the twelve to die. It's just something amazing happening in my spirit saints. 
an enormous red dragon, his tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The great dragon was hurled down that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. Read this, please. Revelations 12, 3 through 9. Satan is leading the whole world astray. And Jesus warned about it. He said he comes to, he's a liar and a murderer and a thief. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that there's a place reserved for him. Amen. That Jesus Christ beat him and said, it is finished. But we must obey and follow Jesus. Him and him alone. Remember, one prayer away. It's this Christ, this anointed Messiah, this Savior, this Jesus. Everybody keeps talking about is calling you now. If you're watching this video, Jesus is calling you now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Wake up. I'm knocking on the door. About to come back. Since Satan is referred to as a star, which fell or was cast down, I believe God just booted him out. And Revel. <laughs> And Revel <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I just had a visual of God just booting them right out of him. Get out of here. This is my world, my creation. You're created. Boom! And don't forget, I'm sending Jesus down there, Satan. Woo! <clears throat> Let's continue. It says a third of the stars were cast out with them. Then the conclusion is that the stars in Revelation 12 refer to fallen angels. Some people don't like talking about this, but it's in the Bible. Fully one-third of the heavenly hosts, again, one-third, if the one-third is in fact accurate, which assuredly that it is, two-thirds of the angels are still on God's side, and for followers of Christ, they are on our side as well. Now, now know this, and read Revelation 8, and please like and share this to anybody that is not awakened or made Christ their Savior. There is more for us than against us. Jesus is calling everybody to repentance. And he's coming again. And this will all happen. And I don't feel that the world is ready. And there is a remnant that's willing to not bow down to Baal and to get up on here and proclaim the truth according to God's word and point you to the cross and not the world. God bless you. Pray for us. We pray for you. This minister, Paul, Northern California. Peace.